alert people to a couple of uh, people here in the planet that are doing something to offset the controls and the restrictions and that's one thing is Sheriff Mack Dwayne's mentioned that he's uh, part of the Constitutional Sheriff's Peace Officers Association and he's uh, a constitutionalist he's just uh, abiding by the Constitution uh, he says the sheriffs have the ability to uphold the constitutional rights of the people to protect them from government overreach which obviously is going on on a local, state, and federal level. So they have jurisdiction in their district, county, or where they were elected to. So this is just an individual who has a number of sheriffs on his side that are doing a lot to offset what's going on with the controls. So that's something you could, you know, investigate, follow, support, uh, whatever. And then there's also Healthy American, which Wayne, Wayne turned me on to. It's, the, uh, it's a woman who's, who's doing research also, like Deborah Tavares, with uh, all the, uh, the laws regarding all the restrictions and, and noting that there's laws that she's, she's uh, put together and researched a lot of the the laws regarding masks and six feet apart and vaccines and stuff. So she's very good. She's on the healthyamerican.org. And she has things like your, if you want to go into the store without wearing a mask, which, you know, right now it's still no big deal, but it may come to the point where, you know, you could use some of these things. But if you go to her website, she has lots of information on what what to do what to say to people to police officers to store managers to get your way around or move move your way around this uh, all the restrictions legally which is kind of fun because all this here sheriff mack and and I think peggy hill is her name they do this legally so up to a point, this this works. Of course, the dictators that run this place can do anything they want, but at least for now, uh, these approaches legally can, you can maneuver your way legally through these uh, laws that are in place that actually, they're breaking the laws if you really get into it. But of course, they, they own the judges and the courts and all that, so they can do what they want. But in the meantime, I just wanted to, uh, help be, help you become more aware that uh, Sheriff Mack, M-A-C-K, you can just Google him, and the healthyamerican.org, that's a website you can go to to see some of these laws that are help you to shop mask-free or to help you to uh, maybe avoid the vaccine, etc. So these are just two things here you can do. Yeah, the idea of this is uh, we may share some of these from time to time, but uh, over the years, I've probably known about Sheriff Mack for about 10 years. And so because of the vaccines and the COVID and all that, he has really ramped up. In other words, he's really put his attention on all this because people's lives are being ruined all over the place. So uh, it's not that we're, uh, you know, following the Constitution and things like this. The idea is is that uh, if there are avenues there to help people, and uh, Sheriff Mack and other people like that are stepping up and saying, no, we have rights. We don't want to, uh, you know, have the vaccines, or we don't want to wear masks, or whatever it is, or do this nonsense. In other words, that people have rights. And so this is simply a vehicle to relate to. Uh, again, we're not following this or doing whatever, but uh, we're for those people that uh, have uh, the right to their free choice. And so these people are speaking up, which is cool. Not everybody's obeying the system. So this is, uh, as this builds up, it's going to be very, very interesting. And uh, Sheriff Mack's position is a peaceful maneuver, you know, without guns or arrows or whatever. And 
also the right to bear arms and whatever according to the constitution that's you know that's an individual choice ours is about awareness so eventually i see that i'll be able to talk to all these people around the world as this culminates into what it does etc so we take it a step at a time but because of this uh, confrontation uh, with the governments and the public, uh, this gives us an opportunity too. So we have things to live by, but just simply references that if there's something there that can help protect you uh, into making your choice, whatever it is, uh, that's the whole idea. Why don't we kind of announce here that if people would, as long as they're in these groups, and again, I know some people do, uh, do research, uh, research documentaries as to what's going on in the world, what's taking place, et cetera, the weather, the, the COVID vaccine, whatever, to uh, keep people updated and also uh, people having experiences, seeing creative ways how to handle this because this is a very real situation here with people's physical bodies and each person came here to learn a whole lot and they need this physical body and they don't need the interruption of it being ruined. So uh, that becomes very real too. So anybody that wants to contribute certain things or step up and talk about it, not only just leave a link there, but actually uh, watch the documentary, whatever it is, and then come forward and provide your own explanation of it, contribute in some way. And this is what Val and I do. We cover all the grounds, just like Kevin and whatever. We cover all the grounds with everything uh, because there's a whole big experience here happening that's going to lead into other things. We're trying to, uh, you know, uh, be helpful by, uh, you know, sharing how people can uh, prepare themselves because it's coming and it's here. And it's going to get worse before it gets better. And that's very, very real. So you don't know what's going to happen the next moment or whatever. So anything along those lines, I suggest people contribute. That's in the doing, do as we do. Uh, that is to where you earn this universal position. Again, it's not that you've done it or whatever. That's something that you've done. But that's not the real position because you really have to earn it by proving it and doing it. And life sees that. So you want to wake up, uh, wake up to that and not take it for granted. Otherwise, you do. Yeah. And by the way, there, were, there was a court case in Alberta, Canada, a week and a half ago that they couldn't prove the existence of this COVID virus. Uh, the, fellow, the fellow got arrested there and he's an activist or he was part of a uh, protest and he got arrested and, and then he... <laughs> He had them prove that the virus existed because he was uh, denied, uh, I'm not sure the details, denied access to something or something along those lines. Uh, didn't wear a mask or whatever, but he had the Department of Ministry, the Health Ministry there in Canada, prove that this COVID virus existed and they couldn't do it. This is like a big deal here for, for uh, everybody you know, to take note that, uh, and then they actually, story goes, they they no longer have the mandates, the mask mandates and distancing and vaccine mandates there in Alberta, Canada because of this court case. So just, there's all these little things going on in the world that you, know, you could research and bring back and report on the, the Skype here saturday skype and just inform others to what's going on it just helps us all to be more become more aware and to be able to handle and manage what's going on in the world today yeah things like this and other things and uh one of the things just like val mentioned uh previously was that on this uh, show or whatever about sheriff mac and the uh, uh the healthy american.org etc these are little helpers uh, to help uh, people along as references. Again, we use these things as references because we have a physical body here. So it's just like you have your car here and you want the best gas and uh, you know motor oil for it, whatever. And so it's the same idea. 
it's not that we, you know, that this is our uh, ultimate or we follow these companies or whatever, but they help us, you know, keep our position here going because we came here to learn and not take the physical body for granted. In other words, uh, you know, just chasing thrills and having our personal life. You can do that. Each person can do whatever they want. The end result will be what you've chosen. Now, again, I've seen people who think in, in, in very so-called high places that just because they knew the guides, they were going to the seventh level. Well, because of their attitude, they didn't. They went right into the astral world. And that's where Reba Zara took them. That's very real. They went with their old families, and that's as far as they go because they really didn't see it. This is a huge journey like nothing else. Give yourself 100 years or more, even into more lifetimes, whatever it takes. Be real. But if you're thinking that you have it because you know this, you really don't. And that's very, very real. You've got to be very, very real. So just because you signed up for the military and your boot camp, and you're in boot camp, don't think you're the real brave soldier because it takes a whole lot to go through that and earn your stripes. So even though you've been in spiritual paths or whatever before, that all becomes meaningless uh, because this is the new nowness and this is what life is now. It just got bigger and real. And this is where very few people have the real heart and courage to step up and really do it. 